when I got my iPad Pro and I started doing digital planning, I realized it was sort of the perfect setup for a traveler's notebook. Hi friends, it's Mary from Aforementioned Thoughts. I wanted to stop by today and show you how I have my digital traveler's notebook set up. So if you're not familiar with what a traveler's notebook is, is it is basically sort of a shell and they have beautiful handcrafted ones of leather, um, paper, all sorts of amazing ones if you've ever seen these uh, <laughs> across your YouTube or Instagram feed. This one I have um, is one that my hubby actually got me from Michael's before our Disney trip last year. Um, he was so sweet and remembered that I had a journal last time I went to Disney and got me this one um, to use to put uh, scrapbook stuff in and notes for my scrapbook and things like that. So I do use this when I'm traveling, but I don't use it on an everyday basis because paper planning is just not for me on an everyday basis at this point in my life anyways. Um, so this one has, um, you can add charms, like this is from uh, one of our favorite vacation places, Gatlinburg, this is from our Disney trip. And then once you open it up, um, like I said, they're different styles, different ways, um, but they have, typically have strings or elastic where you can add different sized notebooks and different kinds of notebooks. You can even add other inserts that'll hold um, cards and things like that. They're, they're beautiful. I fell in love with them, seeing them on Instagram and um, YouTube, things like that. But like I said, I realized that uh, paper planning just isn't for me right now. Um, I'm a mom of a toddler and uh, a virtual assistant. So pretty much when she's napping, I'm online or on some sort of technology. And when she's not napping, I'm chasing her around, playing with her. Um, so digital is really a lot easier for me than keeping track of extra things. So I usually have my phone or my iPad near. Um, I don't always have notebooks and other things like that near or in my purse, that sort of thing. So when I got my iPad Pro and I started doing digital planning, I realized it was sort of the perfect setup for a traveler's notebook. Um, and so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I set it up as a traveler's notebook in my mind. So um, I have some different sections, some different things I add, some different decorations I put in it, and I'm just going to show you a quick overview of the setup today. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you inside my iPad Pro and show you how I use it as a digital traveler's notebook and how you can set up your own. So this is what my planner section, which I consider to be my, um, traveler's notebook, my digital traveler's notebook. Um, I just refer to it as my planner as I would for a paper traveler's notebook. This is what it looks like. Um, and what I do is within my good notes, um, I have different categories. Uncategorized is just sort of um, my archive. So I have my little girl's coloring book because I don't want her accidentally hitting um, anything in my planner, but I do like letting her supervised, um, letting her be supervised and use my uh, Apple Pencil and my iPad to color and explore that way. Um, I also have some books and things that I have read and I didn't want to go ahead and delete. Planner is this section, so that's my traveler's notebook. That's sort of my home base. And then at one point I thought I was going to import my stickers um, separately, and I haven't found that to be needed yet. Um, I still may do that because I like the idea of seeing them all like this. We'll see. I, I'm still experimenting with that and then trash just did um, recently. So within my digital traveler's notebook, um, what I have here are uh, just different little notebooks. So if you're picturing a paper traveler's notebook, they have little sections and that's what I did here so that I could easily go to different sections. You could do this all within one PDF and add links. Um, that's not what I decided to do. I may try that in the future, but I find this to be most useful for my productivity now. First thing I have here, this is just in order of um, when I opened it last. So typically my planner is first, but I was going around and making some changes yesterday. So this is what order it's in now. Um, my first section here that says hello 2017, that um, are my week, those are PDFs of weekly numbers um, for 2016 and 2017. I do weekly Project Life and I got really behind last year and so what I wanted to do was um, I wanted to be able to check off what I had done when I go in and finish that um, layout and get that good to go then I will go ahead and mark those off. One tip for highlighting, um, if you hit this little button right here it makes really straight pretty lines when you're highlighting so once I found that out I was I loving highlighting a lot more. 
My second section um, is home improvements. That's for a list of things that we want to do in our house eventually. Um, and I love that I can pull in pictures from Pinterest or things like that, or even save receipts and things in this notebook. I'm not gonna open everything because I have some personal information in some of them that I don't wanna share. Um, so my third one here is wedding. I am already married. I've been married for almost 10 years this year. It'll be 10 years this year. Um, but I am in a wedding and I'm helping um, the couple do some planning. Um, and they actually, I think I already have four pages of notes from the, the first time we talked as a group. So um, that is that area. And one reason I like having these different notebooks set up rather than all within my same planner right now is um, when the wedding's over, it'll be over before the end of the year. So then I can move that to my archived um, area and not have it as part of my planner. The fourth section here um, is for my meetings. So if I'm in a meeting with someone for my business, I can have that in that area. I do have another section just for business items, but I like having the meetings separate um, in a separate area. So this next area is my brain dump and I love having a brain dump area where I can just sort of put everything out there um, and go through. And um, one good thing about having it digitally is you can highlight it and um, move it to another notebook, just copy and paste, cut and paste, that sort of thing. Um, my next section is my crafting um, area. So I can put in uh, patterns, I can make notes while I'm doing my crafting. Um, I typically crochet and knit, but I also do a lot of other crafts too. So it's nice to have this little area. And I did wanna show you my crafting notebook. This is a free, and it's called a digital traveler's notebook. So this is um, similar to what you would picture if you uh, went through, if you actually had a paper one. So you see the little cover there in the little notebook. Um, this was a free download from, I believe it's Digi 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 Planner. <laughs> I'll try to find a link and put that in the below, but I, in the description box below. I love um, the little design she has here. And so this is what you'll get here when you um, download it, you'll get a section with the cover and then this, and then you can just keep adding. Um, I think, you know, if you, um, you know, you can add as many of these pages as you want. So that is a neat option and I'll try to put a link in the description box below. Next section um, is Bible study. So sometimes I will do screenshots of my Bible reading for the morning and write out notes. Um, I also use this to just write out verses and things like that. The next section is the Profitable Teacher. This is a workbook that I received as part of a course that I'm taking. So I've added this to my planner while I'm going through the course. And again, when I get done with that course and I'm not using that notebook anymore, I can move it to an archive, um, send it to my Evernote as well for archival purposes and have that there. And there's my happy planner for 2017 down there. That includes um, my calendar schedules, things like that. Let's see. Then down here, work hard and be kind section, if you can see that. Um, that is my work area, so work brainstorming, ideas, uh, goals, things like that. Then I have my sticker section, and I think you all have seen that before. Um, I just import all of my stickers there and cut and paste them accordingly. And then um, my last section here are YouTube ideas, so I like to be able to jot those down. And then also when I'm having you know, trouble thinking of an idea, I can go back and use those later. So those are my different areas of my... Uh, digital Traveler's Notebook. If you have any questions or any other ideas that you'd like to see on digital planning and paperless living, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.